Hey, this is Glendon with Making Money with Storage Unit Auctions. All right, this video is about how to maximize your resale business with Google Voice. You know, I put it out many, many videos ago, and a lot of people are really, really happy with Google Voice because it's a way to separate your business from your personal phone and not incur any additional expense. Zilch, nada, zero. And everybody loves that free stuff. Well, here's a way to really maximize it, because one of the things that you should do is for every sales channel that you have, you should have a unique Google Voice identifier for that sales channel. For your eBay information should be a Google Voice number. For your Craigslist, all of your Craigslist IDs should have a different number. Now, one really part about that that sucks, you cannot use your Google Voice as a way to verify your Craigslist account because it's voice over IP and apparently they have that set of numbers or whatever way they identify it, you just will not be able to confirm your Craigslist account. However, it has nothing to do with the information that you post into your Craigslist ads. I used Google Voice numbers extensively so whenever I got an email, because this is my deal, this was the way that I daisy chained it. Because at one point, because I currently have three, but at one point I had eight Google Voice numbers. And if you need to ditch one, once again, no problem. So this was the master plan because with Gmail accounts, you can have them forward to one another. So I had everything dumped into one master Gmail account and I would get a text or email. So I got both into my master dump file. So everything that went in there was all about money. Uh, there was no personal calls. It was all strictly business. And it really simplified my life. Now, this is what you do. You go ahead and get your eBay stuff set up. And with eBay, I don't even know if they can call you anymore because eBay has become so Gestapo about putting your information in ads. Because once again, it's their business and those are not your customers. They're eBay's customers. Anyway, moving on, go ahead and let's address Craigslist because that's going to be the, the best use of this. For every Craigslist ID that I had, I had a separate phone number because some IDs I would just post furniture, other IDs I would just do garage sales, and other IDs I would do uh, collectibles or you know whatever it was going on at that point. So every time the phone rung, and some ads, I would just put the number in there and just say, text me, because that was a way to read out the spam bots. I think the spam bots are probably one of the biggest problems on Craigslist right now. And this is an easy way to get around that at the moment, because at some point, the automated spam bots will start texting you. But you just got to keep pushing. But that's kind of it. You know, that's just a simplified view of how you can crank out Google Voice to help crank out the cash. In the second edition of Pimping Craigslist for Fun and Profit, I'm going to do a completely different uh, write-up on that. And there'll be a section with a deeper tutorial, you know, and screenshots and everything, how to set up the, uh, the dump list and stuff. So those of you who are in the boot camp, as soon as we are uh, moving past this, First section, we're going to jump off into that, like, without even stopping. So, oh, yeah, speaking of the boot camp, next one is going to kick off September 18th. So you get a lot of time to get your ducats together. Also, the price will be going up to 250 250 because there's going to be some additional things added to that one. But if you go ahead and buy the three book deal, you will reserve your seat for that and you just nothing's going to kick off for you until september 18th just letting you know all right this is glendon we're making money with storage unit auctions